We are going to study in a minute the main parts of the screw compressor chiller with water-cooled condenser. The parts are 1. Electrical box fan. 2. Pressure control. 3. Expansion valve. 4. Water outlet to cooling tower. 5. Water inlet from cooling tower. 6. Ice water inlet. 7. Compressor. 8. Pressure gauge. 9. Control panel. 10. Equipment electrical box. 11. Ice water outlet. 12. Solenoid valve. 13. Liquid display. 14. Filter dryer. 15. Capacitor. Welcome to class number 7 of the chiller course for beginners prepared by Mundo O Chiller, the channel of water chillers and industrial refrigeration. In this class we are going to study the chiller that uses a screw compressor with a water-cooled and air-cooled condenser. Let's start by saying that the screw compressor chiller is a machine widely used in industrial refrigeration due to its high efficiency, its high reliability and above all because it is a machine that, once installed, will practically generate cold for a long time with low depreciation. With a fairly high level of life, especially when the condenser is cooled by water, it has a durability of many years of the screw compressor. The screw compressor is a machine that consists of two rotors, one male and one female very close to each other with a quite strict tolerance and whose operation is based on the rotation for the progressive reduction of a volume between both rotors so that the refrigerant that is inside these cavities presents a reduction of its volume. The screw compressor offers many advantages at the level of efficiency. One of the main ones is that the oil injected screw compressor, the oil will fulfill two functions in addition to sealing, because let's remember that the screws are not joined, they are separated and there is a tolerance, in addition to sealing the tolerance, this will serve a lot as means of cooling, this means that the oil is going to be constantly cooling the compression we compress, we cool once the screw compressor starts working it compresses, it cools it compresses, it cools this will generate a compression process with a greater efficiency, we are practically going to achieve a process that is very close to what is called an ideal process, so we have an important part of the screw compressor, which is the possibility of making a very efficient compression. Another quite important one is the ability to regulate the compressor. Screw is a compressor that allows us to regulate. Let's listen to this part two things. It allows us to regulate. It allows us to regulate the amount of refrigerant that is compressed and it allows us to regulate the pressure at which this refrigerant reaches or reaches the condenser. Then we are talking about two regulations. The more we reach the value that is necessarily important which is strictly necessary, the greater the efficiency will be. Of course, we know that the power of a compressor is related to the flow and pressure and the two factors that will influence it, so we are going to say that this equipment offers us to regulate these two factors. How does it do it? Well, let's explain it quickly. The amount of refrigerant basically uses a bypass system. The screw compressor, how does the bypass system work? The bypass system works that there will be a diversion of the refrigerant to ensure that only the refrigerant that we need to compress passes through and the one that we do not need is diverted back to the suction without having started to compress. That is, without wasting energy to do that work, then this will only generate mechanical work on the flow that we are needing. This is done by means of a slider that moves and regulates the hole through which the refrigerant is diverted in such a way that we can control the amount of gases that is being compressing the other way we are now talking about the regulation not of flow but of pressure is changing the length that the refrigerant goes through the screw the value of the length that the refrigerant has to go through the greater screw will be the pressure that it will reach then what is the idea the idea is to modify the compression length to only compress what the system needs because the screw compressor for its operation does not depend on the condenser to generate the pressure it is not like the piston compressor that depends on the valve exhaust opens and opens depends on the condenser pressure not here here the pressure is going to be achieved we need the screw compressor pressure to be very similar to the condenser pressure to achieve better values because we would only be achieving the pressure that the condenser does not need so we can change the compression length and thus be able to regulate the pressure that we are going to achieve this way of changing the pressure can be done by standard values or by exact values, of course. Screw compressors have more accuracy to achieve. The compression ratio equal to that of the condenser, because it will be more complex. There are also screw compressors that manage to control the pressure that they will achieve by standardized values. At least there will be screws that reach a compression ratio when we are talking about compressor screw compressors that work for specific values. There are screw compressors that achieve a compression ratio of 2.6.
And from there, if the 2.6 is not enough, so they pass a compression ratio of 3.6. And if 3.6 is not enough, more pressure is needed for the refrigerant to enter the condenser because the environment is at a high temperature so we need a higher compression ratio so we go to the value of 5. But there are also screw compressors that are not limited to these values they can achieve not only from 2.6 jump to 3.6, but from 2.6 to 2.8 to 3. Because the control system is more accurate and if you want to acquire more advanced knowledge about chillers and industrial refrigeration plants you can visit mondachiller.com and take our private programs for the training of professionals in the sector every month we are opening courses with new groups online modality of course we can see all this later in slightly more advanced classes of this chiller course for beginners and also the private course of mondachiller we are talking about that we have a regulation of flow and pressure we can also use frequency inverters to further improve the regulation of capacity these screw compressors have durability as their main characteristic because there is no contact between the rotors the male and female rotors do not they are in contact with the film of oil that separated them they will be in contact with the gears that are behind those in the gearbox that are behind the screws and that is going to be completely lubricated that is we are going to have a high reliability of this machine currently these screw compressors are practically in many industrial refrigeration applications before they were not seen so much because they were more expensive they were used in medium to high capacity applications they are still used from medium to high capacity but it turns out that as the manufacturer of these compressors has dropped in price then the average value has been medium it has begun to drop that is, we are seeing screw compressors in values of lower refrigeration tons than before. It was not thought to see these types of compressors because it was justified for high capacity applications. But the value of refrigeration tons was already dropping, which we see. However, to make a classification to place a location interval, we can say that the screw compressors that are most commonly seen are between 200 and 300 ton applications. In other words, the chillers that we are going to see the most with screw compressors are between 200 and 300 tons. This does not mean that we will never see a chiller like this with a screw compressor above 300 nor one below 200, but between 200 and 300 is the one we are going to see the most. In fact, the screw compressor that we are going to see the most is the double rotor one. It is the most used and somewhat important. The currently most influential chiller with the greatest applicability that we have the most chances of finding is the chiller that uses a screw and water cooled condenser as the chiller that we are going to sell with the most possibilities. So looking at it this way we are in the presence of a machine that offers us adaptation to partial load. It offers us reliability. It also offers us to adapt to the pressures that we are going to find for the most part. We are therefore in the presence of a machine that will guarantee us to be very close to the values we are looking for in all aspects. We can also say that the screw compressor is a fairly silent machine and when it uses a water-cooled condenser it is even more silent. We can also say that it is a machine that occupies less space than other chillers such as the centrifugal one. We can also say that the screw compressor chiller has an advantage that it does not need such high rotation speeds as the centrifugal compressor. These are advantages that are sometimes important in certain applications then the invitation is extended for the next class number 8 of this chiller course for beginners. Principiantes.